What is up guys? Welcome for our very first battle of GPC Season 6. We are taking on Josh and the Texas Turtwig. Uh, we're almost ready to go. He's already challenged me as you can see. If you didn't catch the team builder, make sure to check that out. I'll try to leave a link to the, to the, uh, to the video in the description down below. This is the team that we are bringing, Untitled 204. I should probably name this GPC Season 6 Week 1. That way I can identify it a little bit easier. And we already imported it into our calc. Not gonna lie guys, I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't played any League format since uh, the NPL Miners, which isn't that long ago, but it feels like an eternity ago, so. <sighs> Alright, so uh, where's, um, where is GPC Season 6 Week 1? There we go, okay. Alright, here we go, and let's find out what team he brought. Oh, hold on. Uh, Lopini's Mega is unreleased. You have to challenge in draft format the last tier on the list. Sorry for caps. <laughs> My keyboard was set to caps. Uh, I actually have to adjust something really quickly or else it's got, I think it's going to make uh, Megalopony automatically mega. So I have to um, change that. Also make sure Pinsir is not mega if you brought it. So we should be good to go. Um, yeah, so <laughs> a bunch of uh, different things came up there. All right, show all teams. Uh, GPC season six week one. All right for real guys. Here we go. Let's find out the teams wait Zygarde is only obtainable from events It needs to match one of its events if shiny. Oh, are you serious? I can't use shiny Zygarde. Oh, come on, man Really? Uh, that's a bummer. Oh, well um, Save that change this to non shiny. All right. We'll use regular Zygarde then it's fine uh, GPC season six week one and There we go. Okay, so he brought a lot of the stuff that I expected no mega pincer Whoa, what? He didn't bring Mega Pinsir? Yeah, that's actually insane. Hold on a second. Let me actually just uh, post this in the GPC chat so that they know we're playing. Uh, me versus Josh, so they can join in on the game. What I am going to do is uh, mutate specs uh, and um, go to mute everyone now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to mutate spe uh, mute specs and opponent. Um. I wasn't aware of that. Well, yeah, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it, dude, uh, if you're watching this anyway. So, um, my lead matchup with Empoleon is not bad at all because he does have the Pillow Swine, and I deal with that pretty well. However, he could lead with Cobalion, which is what kind of what I expect, but I have a decent switch into Cobalion in uh, Gorgeist anyway. So, Gorgeist can be used very effectively here. He did bring both his Defogger and... <coughs> sorry about that. His Defogger and his Rapid Spinner. So, uh, I think I'm just going to lead off with Empoleon because it leads the best against Pillow Swine, honestly. Uh, and if he leads off with Flygon, I don't get hit by Earthquake because I'm on the Balloon. Uh, his Pillow Swine can't hit me, so... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's lead off with Empoleon. Let's see what his lead is. I mean, Megalopony is not a bad lead in general. I just don't want to get caught off guard by something weird, <laughs> you know? I could always just fake out and then switch out, but uh, I think this is the better lead option. Um... He could lead off with Magmortar, which is a huge, huge threat to my team. It's another reason that I have Babiri Berry, actually, because that thing does get Iron Tail. So it, c it can hit Floor just pretty hard if it wants to. Um, oh, this is cool. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was looking at the logo. Uh, but uh, Josh is taking a while to pick his lead. He wants to be sure of what he's going to lead with. Uh, maybe he expected something different. Man, if I would have brought Flareon to this game... Look at the damage that Flareon did to him if I was that Flame Charge Toxic Orb Facade Flare Blitz set that I mentioned in the team builder. Oh my god, it actually just ran through him with rocks up. As long as he's not Scarf Koba, obviously. Uh, by the way, Kobalion does get Volt Switch, so I'm going to have to play around that a little bit. Uh, see what he's going to do, but um, I'm not going to start the timer on him or anything. We're just going to lay back. Might be a little bit of a longer live come than what you guys are used to. It depends on how long Josh takes to make his plays. But uh, hopefully we can win win, uh, win week one, guys, because uh, we need to start off strong. We need to definitely start this season off strong, and Josh is definitely not one of my worst matchups. So here we go, Empoleon versus Cobalion, so not the best lead for me. Uh, obviously, I don't want to get hit with a close combat turn one. I am on a balloon, he knows that now, so he might never even click Earthquake uh, with the two ground types, so that's good uh, in theory. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to switch out into Gorgeist. I'm not staying in to take a close combat for no reason. And uh, then with Gorgeist, I think we're just going to uh, go for the Leech Seed. Uh, unless he switches here, I will find out his item, no matter what. So that's good news. 
um, with Frisk, of course. So, if he is Scarf, then we have to play it carefully with Lopany. Very, very carefully. Um, I think he recognized that Lopany did a lot of damage to his team, and he brought some defensive Pokemon. Probably Flygon is like max defense, Yachi Berry, or something of the sort. Uh, with like, I don't know, maybe a fighting move. He does have the a access to a Z-Crystal, so keep that in mind. Um, my Jirachi also has access to Z uh, coverage. Oh no, it's not my Jirachi. What am I talking about? It's my Thunderous. Never mind, I didn't say anything, guys. I didn't bring Thunderous to this game because there was always a chance that he didn't bring Mega Pinsir. I didn't want to have too many checks to it either, so it's all good. Um, Muck didn't come. I'm noticing that now, which means Jirachi never gets trapped, which is nice. Alright, so we're definitely not staying in here. Again, Josh taking his time. That's a good thing. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to uh, to bag on him at all. I want to know who joined. I'm curious. Hold on a second. Um, nobody really. Wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, GPC brethren. Um, yeah, Dom did. Um, sorry. I was responding to something. Anyway, we're gonna switch out into Gorgeist. He is Chopple. Okay, so he did bring the set that um, the Johnny brought against me. All right, he's probably going to go for rocks. He knows that, uh, that Empoleon has a chance to have Defog on it, so he has to keep that in mind. Um, I am just going to go for Leech Seed right here. I don't think he has any coverage for me, actually. So yeah, let's just go for Leech Seed. We do find the Chopple Berry, which is fantastic. That means I'm never clicking High Jump Kick with Lopany until this thing is like at 60%. I have to find out exactly when it dies. I'm going to calc that up real quick. Um, you guys aren't going to see the calc on screen, but Cobalion, Offensive Pivot versus Lopany. Mega Lopany, all out attacker. Well, no, let me get my set. Lopany, where's Luna? There we go. High jump kick. Yeah, he has to be at about 60 for me to uh, to guaranteed kill him. Now, a good thing is, not only did I find out his item, I'm also going to find out a little bit about his set right here. Um, because if he goes for rocks, then he obviously has rocks. And uh, if he goes for Volt Switch, then he reveals that early, which is really good for me. As he is going to go straight out into Magmortar, actually, which is cool. I'm going to get some Leech Seed Recovery. And uh, I think I might just switch directly out into um, into Florges here. I don't really see another play. I don't want to take an HP Ice with my um, with my Zygarde, potentially. I just want to Calc to see if he's, like, max offensive Magmortar with, like, Specs. Um, how much he does to this Gorgeist, actually. I think he knocks it out, but we are max Special Defense. Keep that in mind. Mag Mortar. Uh, wall Breaker, Life Orb, Rash. Yeah, let's do that. Life Orb versus Gorgeist. Uh, where's my Gorgeist set? L. Uh, yeah, it does 117 to 138. So I'm definitely not staying in here. Uh, I'm just going to go into Florges. Uh, good news is this Mag Mortar has some damage on it. And um, Florges can get off a Wish pretty easily. Uh, like I said before, I am a Beery Berry. So I should be able to handle anything. Um, he might double back into Cobalion. I think that's his best play. But either way, I think just going into Floor just is the correct play for me. Uh, and if I get off a Moonblast on his Cobalion, let's just see this. Uh, Cobalion, if he's rocking no investment in his defenses. Floor just defensive support. Uh, Moonblast actually does 45 to 54. So that's really good. Uh, I don't know if he's going to try to Iron Tail here. Um, but I think I'm just going to go for the Moonblast. I think that's my safest play for sure against this Flygon. If he Iron Tails, then I have the Babiri Berry. And I think even if he goes for a Z Iron Tail, like a Corkscrew Crash, I'm pretty sure I live. Uh, Flygon. Uh, let's say he's uh, Max Attack Adamant for whatever reason with Out of Choice Band, obviously, uh, and goes for Iron Tail onto Florges, uh, and it's a base 190 attack, because I think that's what it hits with the Z Crystal. Base 190. Uh, with a Babiri Berry, I'll live it. Absolutely. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Moonblast. He is going to U-turn. Awesome. Cool, cool. Cool stuff. Um, and he's going to go out into his Pillow Swine. Okay, so he's going to want to get up rocks uh, as early as possible. We're going to lower his special attack, which doesn't really matter. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out. Since he doesn't have the Pinsir, do I want to keep my Shooka Berry is the question on Jirachi. Is it that important or are rocks more important? Hmm. I think health on this Florges is quite important, but um, I think just going out into Empoleon is fine, in theory, because <laughs> I could get up my rocks. Oh, my rocks are on Empoleon, it's true, they're not on Jirachi, what am I talking about? Okay, 
So yeah, we are going to go hard into Empoleon here because we do have the air balloon. Let's see what he goes for. Uh, he goes for Icicle Crash to pop my balloon. That's fine. Uh, he shouldn't knock me out with an earthquake, I don't think. Pillow Swine. Let's see. Not Poly Swine. Pillow. <laughs> pillow Swine. Uh, and you tank. This thing runs max attack adamant. So let's just see on our Empoleon set. Where's Cobalt? Uh, earthquake does without the air balloon. 86 to 101. So we do have a good chance to live it. Uh, because we reinvested in the defense, actually. So that's really good. Um, bad news is that he still has his Eviolite. So that's kind of annoying. Because um, I won't be able to knock him out with a Scald. But I think that getting up my rocks is quite important. I don't know why he... Hmm. No, it was a good play. It was definitely a good play. The good news is if he goes for Earthquake, that means he doesn't get up his rocks. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, he could be faster than me, actually. He needs a lot of speed. He needs, like, 87, uh, 84 speed to be faster than me. I should calc that damage, actually. Where's Icicle Crash? Okay, his Icicle Crash didn't do enough to... It didn't do a lot to me at all. It only did 6.7, which means he's not adamant at all. I think he might even be, like, careful. Uh, yeah, he got a mineral on careful. So he doesn't have any attack investment, meaning that his Earthquake can only do 61 to 73 to me. So, knowing that, he also can't really do anything to Florges. So I think my priority here is get up my Stealth Rocks right now. He might switch into his Cobalion or into his Flygon. Either one is fine. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, I gotta watch out for, like, Inferno Overdrive as well on uh, Flygon. That could be a thing for my Gorgeist if he was planning for that. Uh, we do now know that his... Uh, his uh, sorry about the pop there. Uh, we do now know that his Flygon has U-Turn. So that's great information. I might want to keep note of that, actually. Let me do this. Um, <laughs> Flygon. U-Turn. Uh, Pillow Swine. EQ, uh, we didn't see EQ yet. Crash. Not all in caps, thank you. And, uh, Cobalion. Cobalion, we only know that it, it's item, right? Cobalion is Choppel. He is faster than me. Choppel, so he speed crept my Empoleon with speed. That's interesting. But again, I know that he's not fully attack investment, uh, invested, so he can't do too much to, uh, my Florges. So I will just go straight back into Florges. If he wants to go into Starmie, again, like I said, I do have a Spin Blocker, and my Spin Blocker is specially defensive for, for his Starmie. So I should be fine in that regard. Uh, these rocks are really going to help chip away the um, the Cobalion. As you can see, that Earthquake didn't do much at all. Uh, and I will just go for Wish right here. As he decides to go for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Uh, because that what that means is that I can actually get off a Free Moon Blast right here. And he's probably going to Earthquake to prevent my Empoleon from coming in realistically. Now, I don't have any Hazard Removal on this team. Keep that in mind, guys. Um, but his Pillow Swine is now weakened a little bit, which is nice for Lopany if he's running max defense. Uh, I know he's got a lot of speed. We already covered that. He's got at least 84 speed. But I think he might be a little bit more. Uh, actually, 84 makes sense, because it hits 157. Oh, no, wait. I don't have any... Do I have any base 60s? I can't remember. Um, Flareon, maybe. I think he might have sped crept Flareon. But why would I run a min speed Flareon if I brought that, you know? It's a little bit weird. Now, uh, I do kind of need this Pillow Swine gone if I want to deal with his... Um, okay, so he chooses to stay in and go for an Earthquake. So I'm going to get back a lot of my health right here. And what I'm actually going to do, because his Earthquake is only doing 31%, uh, I'm actually going to go for another Moon Blast, predicting him to switch out on my Wish, uh, possibly into Cobalion to get off a little bit of uh, initiative. Uh, what's good is that I know his Cobalion doesn't have rocks, so it's probably four attacks, or it could be Rock Polish as well, since it's Choppleberry. Keep that in mind, too. Rock Polish Sword Zance is a possibility. Definitely a possibility. Uh, with Iron Head and Close Combat. Um, how do I win this game? I think I win this game with uh, with Zygarde, now that my rocks are up. As long as I get rid of this Pillow Swine. This is the big thing. This is the big issue in the way. Uh, he made a very nice play going for Crash instead of going for... Um, he might even, even be faster than my Florges. Did he outspeed me? No, he didn't. Okay, so we know he's between 157 and 186 speed. That's really, really good to know. And we know that he's not rocking any attack investment, so he's probably max HP, uh, maybe like, I don't know, 136 speed, 137-ish, uh, 140, uh, 140, sorry, not 137, and then like the rest in, in defense with a uh, with a bold or a careful nature, not a bold, an impish or a careful nature. 
So I'm just going to Moonblast here. Um, yes, his Sylveon can pass Wishes, but his Sylveon also has to deal with my Jirachi. Uh, and if it's not Specs, it's not dealing with Jirachi at all. So uh, we go for the Moonblast. He does choose to stay in. Go for the Earthquake. Gets off 28%. Uh, I am forced to Wish right here. And we will Protect on the following turn. I haven't revealed Protect yet, so he doesn't know whether or not I have it. Uh, he might want to go for an Icicle. No, he wouldn't want to go for an Icicle Crash here. I do outspeed him, so... Um, if anything, he's going to switch out here. Uh, bad news is, uh, I mean, we still have our Babiri Berry for Cobalion. And like I said before, if I get off damage on that thing, if I get off a Moonblast on his Cobalion, uh, which I think I'm going to go for right now, actually, with my Wish Up, I just got a Wish Up, so, uh, Cobalion, even if it's max attack, adamant, um, to my Florgis, Florgis, defensive support, uh, his Iron Head with Babiri Berry is doing 28 to 33. So I am going to go for the Moonblast right here. He does go for Swords Dance. All right, so he might be a Rock Polish set, so this is kind of scary. Uh, I do have the Babiri Berry still, so I can definitely take a plus two Adamant Iron Head. I take 66% max. So we just did 50 with Moonblast, and we do have Fake Out online. Uh, so I am going to go for another Moonblast. He is going to go for Iron Head. We do have the Babiri Berry. Uh, does he flinch us? No, he does not. And we knock out the Cobalion. Fantastic. Okay, that's going to relieve a lot of pressure. Whew! Okay. That's huge, guys. That is absolutely huge. You have no idea. <laughs> like, that thing being gone is a huge breath of fresh air for my team. Because it means that my Gorgeist can deal with his Starmie. Uh, so this is really, really good. Now, Florgis is probably going to go down. Uh, on a, in a few turns from now, or right now, I don't know, it depends on what he has. Uh, if he goes into Starmie, I might scout by going for Protect first, because that thing, that thing doesn't get any setup. Uh, if he goes into Magmortar, Magmortar's the issue, but Magmortar just gets faked out and returned every single time, and he no longer has a return switch in on his team, because he let his Pillaswine get weakened, and his Sylveon, uh, like I said in the team builder, uh, I have a very good chance to take out Sylveon after a return, plus... Uh, after he protects and gets a round of leftovers, I still have a very, very good chance to take him out, even if he's max defense. So he does not have a return switch in on his team. He might be Scarfed Flygon from the way he U-turned. Uh, he actually chooses to go into Magmortar. That's interesting. Does Magmortar get any setup? I've never actually used it myself, so I'm going to check. Magmortar. Um, moves. Status. What do you get? You get Belly Drum, you get... Oh, Belly Drum. That could be an issue. But I have Fake, attack, uh, fake, uh, fake Out Quick Attack on Lopany. So, Mag Mortar. Um, assault Vest Tank. Max Special Attack. Or, I don't know, Max Physical Attack. Um, with, like, very little HP investment from Lopany. I'm just going to calc this real quick. Luna. Uh, fake Out does 33. Quick Attack does 33. Min. So, right now, he's in range of Fake Out plus Quick Attack. So that is actually fantastic. I'm just going to go for a wish here. Uh, he's, he's physical and he goes for Flare Blitz. That's absolutely fine. Um, even if he's Scarfed. Actually, if he's Scarfed, he can definitely outspeed me. But is that something that I want to test right now? Because I could go into Zygarde and start setting up. Uh, because what Lopini does is it invites in his Sylveon. And I go for a Fake Out, but he gets off a free wish afterwards. Because I will be tempted not to stay in, obviously. Because uh, Hyper Voice is going to destroy my life. So, um, his Pillow Swine's at 35%. Can I see all his mons? I'm going to change the style real quick. This is mid-video switching, guys, but uh, I think I have to do this because I have to see how much all of his mons are on. Uh, so we're going to switch over to this layout. And his Flygon is at full. His Starmie's at full. His Sylveon's at full. The only things that have taken damage are his Pillow Swine and his Mag Mortar. All right. So, I think we go into Luna here, no matter what. We get off the Mega Evolution, which is really going to help. And I f really feel like Zygarde can win with a Coil and a Dragon Dance up. But I think I have to be behind a light screen for the Sylveon. Uh, I have Iron Tail for the Sylveon as well. I just want to see how much that does. Sylveon, uh, if he's like the Cleric set versus my Zygarde. If I'm at plus one, let's just put plus one. Sub Coil, I, I think I have like 28 investment in attack. Uh, at plus one, give me... Well, why am I not using my set? What am I doing? Hold on. Drizzy, plus one, Iron Tail does 52 to 62. Uh, and an uninvested Hyper Voice is not going to do anything. If he has no bulk investment, 
at all, if he's max uh, speed, max attack, max special attack, uh, then my Iron Tail is doing 95 to 102. Uh, 112, excuse me. So, Zygarde is definitely looking like a win condition. Uh, I just have to be sure that his uh, Pillow Swine is gone, I guess. The good news is his hazard removal is Starmie. Uh, it should be, because his Flygon seems to be choiced in some way by the way he brought it in and just U-turned. So I'm going to go into Lopany. We're going to go for the Fake Out. And um, if he's Scarfed, then he's Scarfed. But I have Fake Out into Quick Attack, which knocks this out anyway. Um, he might think I'm just going for a return, so he might not want to switch in his Sylveon directly. And the good, what's good is that my, uh, my calc will tell me exactly what kind of Sylveon that is. His item will as well, obviously. If he's rocking leftovers, I'll know immediately, but... Um, hmm. Hold on. I think getting up a light screen is going to be important. He does go straight into Sylveon, which means this is defensive, more than likely. Uh, that takes very little, and he does show the leftovers. He takes 19%, okay. Um... So what we're going to do is we are going to calc that up real quick. I just want to see exactly if it's max defense. So we're just going to reset this. Sylveon. Uh, where are you? Cleric versus Luna. Fake out. Should have done 32. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. Sylveon, Cleric. Uh, fake out does 17 to 21. So yeah, he's max defense. That pretty much confirms it. Um... I'm pretty okay with just going into Jirachi here. We are physically defensive, but maybe he thinks I have something for him. Hold on a second. Does Lopini get Iron Tail? I didn't even check this one building. Like this, this is not this is not professional at all. <laughs> Lopini, do you get Iron Tail? I think you do, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, so he could be expecting that and might want to pull a switch. Um. His Magmorta comes in really, really low, like a 21. So I am going to switch into uh, into Jirachi. As obvious as it is, I do have the Shooka Berry if he goes into Piloswine or... Well, Piloswine is going to die to an Iron Head. Uh, but if he goes into Flygon and tries to Earthquake me, uh, I will be able to get up the Light Screen or a Wish, either one. Uh, as he is going to pull a double into his Magmorta, okay. Uh, and I think at this point I just sack off my Empoleon and go right back out into Luna. Is he Scarfed? That is my question. Like, would he have brought Scarf against me? And doesn't he need to go for a... Hold on a second. Alright, so his Chopple Berry's gone. His Sylveon comes in really low. Like, it comes in under 50% if it switches in on a Fake Out. So... Because it comes in at 63, it takes 17. Yeah, it comes in just above 50%, actually. Um... And we know it's max defense, which means it can't knock out... Uh, what is this? Okay. Um, I think Empoleon is pretty much useless at this point. So I am just going to sack it off here. Uh, as I do take Stealth Rocks. He goes for the Flare Blitz. He knocks me out. That's fine. Um, I have a feeling he's Hidden Power Ice, man. Actually, does Magmortar get Ice Punch? Another thing I don't know. Why did I not check this in prep? I knew that he would bring this. No, it only gets in Power Ice, which means he's not going to knock me out. Huh. I mean, Lopini is ridiculously safe right here. It's really safe. Because no matter what, I can always go into Jirachi on his Sylveon. And I can always go Gorgeist on his, uh, on his Starmie. So the only real threat is this Magmortar right here. So yeah, I need to go Lopini. Lopini is always my play. Uh, now, as much as I want to click Return, because I don't think he's Scarfed, uh, because I don't think he would lock himself into Flare Blitz when I have a Zygarde that can set up and destroy everything on his team, um, as much as I want to click Return, I'm just going to click the safe fake out. Uh, we get burned by Flame Body. That's fantastic. <laughs> wow. And we lost our aromatherapy. Oh, that sucks. What? Really? Okay. All right. The one turn we hit Magmortar and we get burned. <sighs> that really sucks. All right. Good news is that I can still pass Wishes into Lopini, so I can still put in some work. 
Um, the problem is I can't kill Sylveon anymore. It's gonna be extremely hard now. Uh, because my return is only doing like 22 to, to 27 at this point. Uh, I could Iron Flinch it down. Iron Head Flinch it. So that's not too bad. Um, and also I have Light Screen. So I can handle Starmie. I think Jirachi handles the majority of what's left on his team. So what got a kill so far? We have Florges with the Moonblast kill onto his Cobalion. Uh, we have... Lopany with the uh, fake out kill just now, so not too bad. We're looking at a 4 4 situation. Um, I really, really don't like f the way that Flygon's looking right now. He's probably calcing to see if, if he can knock me out and if I can knock him out with an ice punch if I have it. Could I? If I did have it? I don't think I can. Uh, choice band versus this. Let's change quick attack to ice punch. Um, ice punch uh yeah i wouldn't be able to knock him out so it shouldn't be a worry of his um the problem is i don't really have a good switch into his flag on anymore because i do want to keep my gore guys for the starmie that's the annoying thing um if sylveon comes in i go jirachi if pillow swine comes in i high jump kick because it'll still knock it out uh through the ev light if his <clears throat> sorry guys if his flag on comes in i'm not sure what i'm gonna do I might just scout to see if it's scarfed. Um, I don't think it has any coverage for my Gorgeist. And even though I do think that, I still think it's very risky to go directly into Gorgeist on it. Also, I now know that Gorgeist, excuse me, doesn't outspeed his Pillow Swine. So that thing can actually get off a lot of damage on me with an Icicle Crash. Uh, he still has to predict my Rachi coming in on it or not, but it's, uh, it's still a problem. So that burn matters a lot. That burn matters a ton. Um, we are at 26 minutes. This is going to be a, li a long live com, isn't it? In comes Sylveon. Uh, I'm not too overly terrified of the Hidden Power Fire if he has it. Uh, because he's not Choice Specs. So I will just go directly into Jirachi here. Uh, let's see what he does. He does go for a Wish. Now he can't Wish, wish into Pillow Swine. So that's the good news. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a Light Screen. Honestly. I could also go for the uh, for the boost chance with Ancient Power. That would be hilarious if I actually got it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for a light screen. We are faster than the Sylveon, obviously, because we V'd this thing to outspeed max speed Sylveon when we we know he's defensive, so that's, uh, that's easy for me. He does get off a free wish into something, but I do get up a light screen, which is awesome. And um, if his Flygon is what comes in, then so be it, but... I still haven't seen an item on that thing. That's what worries me. Um, he's going to switch into Pillow Swine, actually, and heal it up. I'm going to get up a light screen. And, um, I mean, I'm just going to go for Iron Head because I have the Shooka Berry. I'm going to do some damage to this Pillow Swine. We're going to flinch it on the first turn. Awesome. And I'm just going to go for another Iron Head here. You might think that I didn't have any coverage for his Pillow Swine, but I have Iron Head. You think I'm not gonna bring Iron Head against a team with Sylveon and Pillow Swine on it? Yeah, come on. Um, he can't switch in his Syl his Sylveon's actually weaker now because he did that. So there's a chance that I might be able to knock it out with two returns, which is good news. So Lopini still might have some viability. <clears throat> Um, I think I'm a... Am I a minus attack nature? No, I'm minus special defense on this Jirachi. Which, uh, works out not too bad, because... Yeah, okay. I, th I think we're okay. If I can knock out this Pillow Swine, that is amazing. That's actually amazing. And w the reason I ran Light Screen, guys, the other reason was because I want to be able to switch into Starmie with my Gorgeist. And if it's Analytic Ice Beam with Life Orb, it would do, like, 75% to me normally, but behind a Light Screen, it's only going to do, like, 35%. So, we'll be able to take the hit, and we'll be able to fire back a Seed Bomb. A pretty powerful one, too. And then if he wants to switch into Sylveon, then he's letting it take damage. Give me another free switch back into Jirachi. That's fine with me. Let's see what he does here. He's, he's, he has a lot of pressure from this, uh, this Jirachi right here. He's going to go directly into Flygon and take an Iron Head. Uh, it's going to take 39%. Um, now, I did say that I wanted to keep Gorgeist for his Starmie, and I still want to do that. So, I'm going to take this as an opportunity... I don't die from Flygon's Outrage, do I? With, um, with Zygarde? Zygarde, Drizzy, yeah, I do. Oh, wasn't well, that interesting? Um, <laughs> alright, so he could be, he's gonna go for Earthquake here, though, right? 
There's no way he clicks anything else. Do I need health on this? Kind of. Um. But I think I'm just gonna Iron Head again. Because I have the Shooka Berry, right? And I'm max defense. So even if for some reason he's a choice banded set, Jirachi, where are you? Lucky and bad. Uh, Earthquake does 43% max, and I'll find out. So I'm going for Iron Head. He does choose to go for a U-turn. He might think that I have Icy Wind or something like that, so he might be tempted to go directly into Starmie. Uh, let me just switch off of this style for a second because I'm having a hard time seeing this. But my light screen has one more turn available to it. So... Um, the good news is that as long as this Starmie is going first with Ice Beam, it doesn't get the analytic boost. So it won't be able to knock me out even after rocks and one Ice Beam on the Switch. As long as my light screen is up, I'm okay. So his Flygon takes unnecessary damage. He doesn't know what I'm going for. He has no idea. He might, he might be tempted to switch out into Sylveon to scout, which is really cool. Because if he does do that, then he potentially loses his Sylveon. So that's awesome. Uh, also, this uh, tells me that his Flygon is speed invested somewhat. It's not min speed because it would be slower than me um, because I'm 241. So I know that his Flygon has some speed. I'm actually going to calc that U-turn damage. It, didn't s it did 17% to me, um, which is actually... It's banded. It is choice banded. Oh, and his Starmie doesn't have leftovers. Yay. <laughs> this is nice. All right, I'm switching out into Gorgeist right here. Let's see what he goes for. Uh, we scout the life orb. He goes for recover. <clears throat> That's fine with me. We are just going to go for the seed bomb right here. I'm glad we saw life orb. I'm surprised he went for recover. I could have I I had a U-turn right there. But this thing definitely has ice beam. There's no doubt in my mind it has ice beam. Good news is he can't spin. And if he takes this seed bomb right here... Uh, then he's going to be in range of Fake Out and Rocks. So he's going to go for Ice Beam. We are max F. He doesn't get the freeze, thank goodness. And the Seed Bomb is going to leave him at 21%, uh, which means he can no longer switch into any attack from anything, including Iron Head from Jirachi. So that Ice Beam did 50%. Uh, I'm not going to be stupid and switch out into my Lopany directly. Uh, I'm just going to go for a, another Seed Bomb right here. If he wants to Ice Beam me again, so be it. Takes another Life Orb round, and he guaranteed leaves himself in range of um, of rocks. 100%. So, that's awesome. Another thing is, now that we know the Flygon is Choice Banded, that tells us a couple of things. One, Lopany outspeeds it. Two, um, if it locks itself into Earthquake, I win with Zygarde. Uh, three, if it goes for Outrage on my Zygarde, I can bring in Jirachi and knock it out. And if he switches out, I still have the Shooka Berry. So, I think we're okay. I think we're gonna win this one, guys. Alright. <laughs> I Jump Kick normally does 96 to 113 to a Banded Flygon. Uh, if I'm status, if I'm burned. It does 47 to 56. How much is he at? 56. So he comes in at 50, which means my high jump kick has a really good chance to knock him out. So that's awesome. He might think I have Shadow Sneak here. He doesn't know the rest of my set, so I think that's why he's he's contemplating this, this play. Um, but he has to know that his Starmie can no longer spin on me at all. It can no longer get rid of these rocks, and these rocks are very valuable right now. Uh, plus, with my uh, Gorgais being max spidef, uh, what this means is that I'll be able to take a Hyper Voice from Sylveon. So I'll be able to Leech Seed it as well, which is awesome. Uh, and I might be able to switch out into Jirachi on it, granting no hidden power fire. So I should be okay. Uh, so let's just check Banded Flygon to uh, to our Jirachi. Again, I just want to make sure of this damage. Uh, Earthquake does uh, item choice band. Choice band does... Okay, so he knocks me out with the, uh, with the Ice Beam. Uh, choice banded does 36 to 43 to my Jirachi set. So I'm still good to take it. All right, so we go into Luna here. Uh, no matter what, I click return because he no longer has a switch in. Um, his, uh, his Sylveon can come in, but I don't see why he would keep this Starmie. Uh, it dies to rocks. So unless his uh, Flygon is banded with Defog, uh, it's not happening. So uh, he might want to go for a wish with his Sylveon. How much did my Iron Head do before with, um, with Jirachi? How much did it do? Where is it? Iron Head did 
36? Is that it? Young? No, that's Young Swine. Uh, did he switch in his flag on an Iron Head? Yeah, it took 39. Okay, so that's not enough to prevent him from wishing up. Hmm. That could be an issue. Uh, if he goes into Sylveon, I think I just click Return. And uh, then I switch out into Jirachi, I think. Because that'll leave his Sylveon in range of Lopany. Uh, he might pass it, but there's nothing I can do about that. It all depends on how he plays this endgame and how he plays his... Um, his Pill of Swine. If he lets that go down too early, then he's going to lose. Again, I don't see why he would sack off this Starmie. I do outspeed it. I have 362 speed. So, no matter what, I'm outspeeding this thing. It's just a shame he got that, uh, that roll with, uh, with Ice Beam. He got the exact roll he needed. If I had one more turn of Light Screen, this Starmie was gone. Did my, did my mic just cut out? I think my mic just cut out for a second there. My bad, guys. Anyway. Um, we're at 35 minutes, man, these are long. I forgot how long live comms were, man. I'm really sorry, guys. There's nothing I can do. I'm clicking my moves relatively fast. This is, this is all on Josh. Josh, what are you doing to the viewers, man? Come on. All right, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out of the room. I'm going to leave the recording running, uh, and I'm going to grab a bottle of water because I haven't had one all recording, and I am dying, so be right back, guys. All right, we are back, and uh, I now have water. Woo! All right, so we have our three first picks of the draft left on our team, uh, and he still has. Yes, he still has quite a few threatening mons. I just wish he wouldn't have gotten the burn. <laughs> that's that's all I wish for, man. Just that he wouldn't have gotten the burn. He does let his Starmie go down. Awesome. All right, so I think this is going to be a free switch into a Sylveon for him, um, which I can't do much about. Um, you know what I could do? I could go into... Into this. No, this is my play. Definitely go into Jirachi. He's gonna go for a wish. No matter what, he's not gonna let me attack him. He's gonna switch out into his Flygon. I'm pretty sure. Um... I think I'm gonna go for a wish as well. Because he hasn't seen it yet. If he switches out into Flygon, I can switch out into my Zygarde, which should be able to take an Earthquake. Zygarde, uh, Subcoil, Drizzy, Flygon, Earthquake to it does 50% max. So if I get wished up, I'm good. And I can set up a Coil. Yeah, that's my play, is to wish. Alright, if he passes this wish into Pillow Swine, I can still flinch it down. We still have the Shooka Berry intact, so we can take an Earthquake in case we do not flinch him. Uh, and then it comes down to what move Flygon chooses to go for. Because if it's Outrage, it's, pre it's a pretty bad spot. <laughs> not gonna lie. If I could get up a Coil before he attacks me, that would be amazing. He is gonna go Flygon. I am gonna get off this Wish. As I'm really tempted to stay in. I'm not gonna lie, guys. But if he goes for Outrage, then I come back in with Jirachi and I start Iron Heading him. Right? I can even Wish and then Iron Head. Yeah, so I'm going to switch out to Zygarde. Let's see what he does. He goes for the Earthquake. Awesome. Okay, so we take Banded Damage as we see right there. And um, I think I'm just going to go for a Coil. Right? Or do I go for D-Dance so I can outspeed this? Hmm. If he has no bulk, how much does Thousand Arrows do? He, let's say he doesn't have Levitate. Does 39 to 47. That's really good damage. That is really good damage. And he can't two-hit KO me, from what I can see. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Thousand Arrows. He chooses to switch in his Pillow Swine. Which does not go down to that attack. It's a little bit concerning. Not gonna lie. Um, 
How much does Pillow Swine's Ice Shard do to me with no attack investment? Because we already covered that he's no attack. Ice Shard. Zero attack. Careful. Because Ice Shard only does 44% max to me. I'm sure he has it though. And there's no way he doesn't click it right here. Right? Um... Yeah, he's playing this endgame super well. Like, super well. Huh. Man, if I would have coiled there, if I would have been a plus one defense, his Ice Shard would have done a max of 30%, so after leftovers, 24. And I think I would have won the game. Because then his uh, Flygon can't do enough to me. Even with a choice band. At plus one. Well, I can, yeah. I can do a max of 81, but it's still a roll. Um, I have to switch out into Lopany here. As much as I don't want to. He's going to go for the shard. It's going to do 19. That's fine. Uh, he can no longer bring in his Pillow Swine. Which is why I'm just going to fake out here. So that I don't take any extra damage from this thing. Basically, I just have to weaken his Flygon. That's all I have to do. I just have to weaken his Flygon and put it in range of High Jump Kick again. Easier said than done, I know. But I don't really have a choice. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Well, first of all, I'm going to knock this out, obviously. Uh, but then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go into Jirachi on his Sylveon. I'm going to set up a Wish... And I think I'm going to stay in. Because if we check, again, the damage on Jirachi from a Choice Banded Earthquake uh, with our Shookaberry, it does a max of 43. And we're currently at 63. So if he locks himself in Earthquake, he still doesn't kill me uh, with his Sylveon. Uh, with his, um, his Flygon, excuse me. So he's going to go Sylveon. Um, this is an easy switch for me. Back into Jirachi right here. As, let's see what he does. He does go for the Wish. And I, myself, am also going to go for a Wish. Um, as he goes for Protect. Fantastic. So this is a very free Iron Head right here, guys. This is a very, very free Iron Head. And uh, he lets his Flygon get weakened as a result. And now, as long as I keep Jirachi alive, I think we win. Because it can just flinch this thing down. Um... And I still have the Shookaberry for the Flygon, and I can always fake out into Return to not miss High Jump Kick. Uh, and then I live Earthquake with Zygarde, and Thousand Arrows takes it out. Yeah, I think I win this. He is going to switch out directly into his Flygon without a Wish Up. That's great. We are going to get off this Iron Head. And I'm going to go for another Iron Head. He's going to go for an Earthquake, but we have the Shookaberry. He does not crit me. I am going to go for the Iron Head here. Uh, we are going to switch out into uh, Drizzy. I think is fine. Uh, or do we sack off Luna and then go Drizzy and go for a Dragon Dance? Well, we know the plus one Iron Tail doesn't take him out. That's the problem. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Let me think about this. Uh, I know that I outspeed a Sylveon. I can go for a Coil or a Dragon Dance. And then I go for an Iron Tail. I think I need to keep... Lopini needs to stay alive. No matter what, Lopini needs to stay alive. Yeah, I have to go into... And so does Jirachi. Uh, I need to go into Zygarde right here. He's going to go for another Banded Earthquake. It's going to do 46. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Dance right here. I know he's locked in. And what's that? Gonna, what that's going to do for me is... Uh, it's going to allow me to spam Iron Tail against his Sylveon. Sylveon, Cleric, Hyper Voice versus Zygarde. How much do you do? Zygarde... Uh, where's my set? Drizzy. Iron Tail at plus one. Uh, does 52. And Hyper Voice does 56% max with no investment. On my set. Yo, that means I can Quail too. And that means I can go to plus two attack and be guaranteed to hit my Iron Tail as well. That's interesting. Alright, he might switch directly into his Sylveon right here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this is a risky play. Uh, 
All right, all right. I think I think we still have it. If you're still with me, guys, you're awesome because this is 44 minutes long at the moment. But this is an intense game. This is definitely up for game of the week right now. That shook a berry on Jirachi coming in clutch, and that physical defense investment was pretty insane. He needs to crit Earthquake to knock me out. His Flygon never knocks me out with Earthquake. Never. Choice banded. Iron Tail. A uh, thousand arrows to get rid of this. We do go for the Dragon Dance. Alright. Now the question is... Does he have some investment on his Sylveon? No, right? Because we, we calc the fake out earlier. From Malopony. Unless, like, I got an absolute mineral and he was actually like 200 defense, in which case he could run like 56 special attack, which still doesn't knock me out from where I'm at. Because I have 309, yep, 407. Yeah, I think I go for a coil here. Because at the moment, Iron Tail is like, yes, it can two hit KO him, but it's not guaranteed, especially with Protect. And I'm almost guaranteed to live his his attack anyway. I am guaranteed to live his attack. It doesn't 59.4 max, and we are currently sitting at like the exact amount of HP that it does is 242, and I have 243. I'm exactly one point off. <laughs> That's amazing. And I calc with 56 special attack, which would mean let's actually just calc Lopany for a second because we did what 17 before. Mega Lopany Luna. Uh, fake out would do a min of 19, so he's max defense. I'm going for a coil. I'm going for a coil. He switches back out into Flygon. Fantastic. That's amazing for us. We get off a coil right there. We thought about it long and hard, so he had to switch out. I'm going to go for 1,000 arrows right here because it does hit the Flygon. Uh, and then on the Sylveon, we will spam Iron Tail because now we are always hitting Iron Tail. <sighs> there goes the Flygon. It is dead. I'm going to unmute um, Specs. And opponents. And uh, did Josh ever say anything? I don't think he did. I think he was as focused as me on the game. Uh, I needed him to switch. Yeah. Except I had enough investment to take your attack, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to go for the Iron Tail right here. And we are going to get the knockout. Beautiful. GG, man. Wow. That was amazing. Yo. We pulled out a 3-0 with a burnt Lopany. A burnt Mega Lopany, man. Good game to my opponent, Josh. Guys, go check him out in the description down below. Please go watch his side of the battle. I'm really interested to see. Um, I'm going to be watching his side for sure. Like, he he played amazing. Uh, he played really, really well. That burn obviously really sucked for me. But we were able to pull through. We were able to make all the correct plays. The Shookaberry on Jirachi wasn't even for Flygon. It was for Mega Pinsir. And it still ended up working out. That's awesome. Wow. Guys, like I said, go check out Josh, go watch his side, go find out what his sets were, uh, how what his thought process was. It's always nice to see another side of the battle. Uh, also, I did say in the team builder, I'm going to try to have the links to all the coaches in the GPC this season in the description of all of my GPC videos. So if you want to go watch anybody's battle that you haven't gotten a chance to watch yet, definitely go find their name and their link in the description. Go check out their battle. Support the community, man. That's, that's, that's why we're here. We're here to support each other. Uh, Josh, once again, great game, man. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for that awesome game. What a great first game for the GPC guys Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys later. Ciao